Hey everybody, thank you so, so much for tuning in. Before I start this video, I wanna go ahead and thank every last one of you. It's been pointed out a few times that I finally hit 100K. So when I got the news, I was so, so happy and so grateful for you all. If it wasn't for you all sharing, liking, commenting, showing me so much love, I wouldn't be here. So thank you, thank you, thank you a thousand times, thank you. Anyway, this video is actually inspired by my Jenga tray. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it below and somewhere up here. But a lot of you really, really enjoyed the tray, but I've read in the comments that it's been really hard to either find the exact mirror or the Jenga pieces. So I wanted to create something that was very, very similar with items that you can find even at your suckiest Dollar Tree. So that way, if you like the Jenga tray, you can get something that's very, very similar without having to go on a scavenger hunt. Anyway, I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Look out for your shout outs. Remember Remember, I will be doing this in all of my videos just to show you guys that I appreciate you so, so much. Let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I'm going to be using three 8x10 frames from Dollar Tree, and these are the ones that are just plain straight edge. And I'm going to take these frames apart. I am going to set everything to the side because I am going to be using the glass pieces of all the frames. So now that I've collected all three glass pieces, I do want to measure out to see if these fit in just one frame. So I'm going to test that out and see if it fits perfectly. And honestly, it does. It would honestly fit two more if you wanted to. So now I'm going to take these out and I'm going to attach my glass pieces together. Now, if you want to keep this clear, you just want to add it to the very edges, but I'm going to be covering this up so I'm adding it all over the glass. And I'm attaching my other glass piece right on top, making sure that it's aligned. And I'm doing this to all three pieces. And this is just to give it extra support because the glass is extremely flimsy. So now I'm gonna check again to make sure that they still fit because remember, E6000 does expand and move around. And now I'm gonna set it aside to dry. For the frames, I am gonna leave the little metal prongs on one of the picture frames and I'm gonna remove them from the other two. I'm using these side cutters from Dollar Tree that are already dull and I'm just prying them out. This is super duper easy. And now that they're out, I'm going to grab the one with the prongs and I'm going to flip it right side up. In other words, how you would put it on a wall. And I'm going to add a very, very generous amount of E6000. Now I'm adding a generous amount because you are going to be placing a lot of weight on this. So you want to make sure that it doesn't come apart. So now I'm going to add my other frame right on top, making sure that it is perfectly aligned. So take your time with this. And these are all facing right side up, how they would be on a wall. So I'm doing this to my final piece. And like I said, if you wanted to add four frames instead, you totally can. And I'm carefully placing it on top, making sure that everything is perfectly aligned. So now I'm just going to grab a wipe and wipe around any of the excess E6000. I'm going to set these aside and let them dry for 24 hours. And then I'm going to take it outside and give it a coat of Krylon's Blue Ocean Breeze. I am going to use a gun because I totally forgot that I own this, but it gives it such an amazing coverage and you don't waste any of your spray paint. This is the same color that I used for my shelf and this is how I love to save money. I like to reuse a lot of my supplies. So now while that's drying, I'm going to be working on my glass and Dollar Tree has peel and stick faux wood and it comes in two colors. I am going to be using the lighter color and I'm just going to measure out to see how much I really need and I am going to cut out a bit extra. So now with my box cutter, I am just trimming the extra. 
And to apply this, I'm just gonna peel that back a little bit, add that above the edge, and I'm gonna pull from the very bottom just to make sure I don't get air bubbles. Now you wanna do this carefully, and if you see that you do have air bubbles, this paper comes right up. You can always just reposition and keep on smoothing everything out. So now that everything is covered, I am going to fold the extra paper like a present. You can also use your box cutter to cut this down, but I'd rather fold it so that it doesn't have any raggedy edges. It doesn't matter if it's perfect or not, honestly you're not going to see any of this. So now that that is done, I'm going to go ahead and take my frame that is fully dry and I'm going to flip it upside down to the side with the prongs and I'm just going to put the prongs upward so that I can put my glass in. So I'm going to line this with E6000 and I'm going to add a very generous amount as usual. And I'm going to place my glass with the wood side down. It is going to be a little harder to place in because it is a little chunkier now with the paper. So I'm gonna place the prongs down and add more of the E6000. And once that's done, I'm going to add the cover of the frame. I did paint mine, you don't have to do yours, but my spray paint was almost done, so I figured why not. So now I'm gonna add more E6000 on top of that. This is just gonna be a little mountain of E6000 for extra security. And now I'm going to add some furniture protectors. These are from Home Depot, but Dollar Tree does carry some clear ones. And I'm going to add those to all four corners to make sure that this doesn't scratch up any surface that it ends up on. So now I'm just going to add some weight to make sure that this dries nice and sturdy. I'm going to let it dry overnight before flipping it over. And now I'm going to add these really pretty handles. I got these at Lowe's for $1.98. And I'm just going to add E6000 to the holes and place them in the middle of the sides. You can measure these out to be perfect, but I just eyeballed mine. So now I'm going to let these dry really, really well. And it's time to test. I was able to lift up with no problem. And now I'm going to add my heavy ceramic to the middle and see how it goes. And bam! You have a beautiful functional serving tray. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so so much for watching and until next time.